Hello friends and welcome back to your lectures on theory of automata and computation. Let us discuss today one more example on pumping lemma for regular languages. Let us have a look at prove that L is equals to A raised to the power P such that P is a prime number is not regular. Right? So most of the students feel that such examples are very difficult to solve using pumping lemma. But uh, let us make it easy today in this video fine so now over here we will consider this a raised to the power p as a raised to the power n which we have already solved right so following the pumping lemma first of all we will follow our steps we will write step one let us assume let us assume that the given language l is regular which is accepted by machine m accepted by machine m with n number of states right fine so this is the fixed step which we are following in every example next comes the step two in step two what we have to do we have to assume a string let us assume w is equals to a raised to the power p fine so what we do basically we will choose a generalized string right over here we also have to assume that and also assume that p is equals to n that is p is equals to the number of states fine so what we will do we will now check over here that what is the length of string the length of string is equals to p which is equals to n hence our condition satisfied in the same step we have to divide the string divide string in x y and z so that employs w will be equal to a raised to the power p minus 1 a considering this as x this is y and epsilon is z fine so all the condition says that length of x y should be less than or equal to n we are following this condition how the length of x y over here will become p minus 1 plus 1 which is equals to p and p is equals to n we already have an assumption y should not be epsilon or y should not be lambda the value of y exists here and there are no restrictions on z so we are not following fine so no restrictions on z so we are not taken any value of z in the step 3 what we have to do we have to choose any value of i such that x y raised to the power i z does not belongs to l fine so here i is equals to we will take it as 2 so what it will become that employs w will be equal to a raised to the power p minus 1 a raised to the power 2 what it will become it will become a raised to the power p plus 1 which does not belongs to l now how it does not belongs to l let us take an example if a raised to the power is a prime right where p is the prime number clear we consider that a raised to the power p such that p is a prime number if p is a prime number then p plus 1 will definitely not be a prime number how we can prove that let us take an example if we consider 7 or we consider 5 maybe we consider 11 right if 5 7 11 are prime number then 7 plus 1 5 plus 1 11 plus 1 are not prime numbers fine so what does it means that a raised to the power p plus 1 will not belong to l this means this contradicts our assumption this contradicts our assumption how it contradicted because initially we assume that this is a this is a uh, part of regular language and now we have proved that that this will not belong to a regular language this contradicts our assumption hence l is not regular hence proved fine 
सो सिंपली दिस इज एज सेम एज ए रेज टू द पावर एन विच इज़ वेरी इजी टू सॉल्व और इधर वी कैन सॉल्व इट बाई टेकिंग एनी एग्जाम्पल ए रेज टू द पावर फाइव और ए रेज टू द पावर इलेवन विच जनरली पीपल टू बट इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर टू सॉल्व द पंपिंग लैम एग्जाम्पल बाई टेकिंग द जर्नलाइज स्ट्रिंग विच इज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द गिवन लैंग्वेज थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो